Hey everyone, this is Judd. Uh, let's talk workshops. I've got a basic gouache workshop coming up uh, in Scottsdale, Arizona at the Scottsdale Artists School. If you've never been there, it's really pretty. It's exactly what you want an art school to be. It's got uh, you know plaster walls and stone tile floors and it's got a Santa Fe vibe. It's like a villa, it's great. But I understand that a lot of people have never been to an art workshop before especially for painting. Um, I get a lot of students who uh, have never painted before in their lives. This workshop is actually really great for total beginners who just wanna try it. I understand right now that the, the economy sucks and all that stuff um, that's going on. Zoom classes and sort of digital courses, which I also do, seem a lot more appealing right now, um, just because it's cheaper, I get it. So here's my approach to workshops. It's not just about technical skills. You can learn technical skills in a lot of different ways, um, you know, online and courses, which I do as well. But what I still love about workshops, and I, I definitely went to a fair amount of them when I was learning, is like being immersed in painting for a whole week just was so motivating and inspiring and um, just a great way to just focus on something for a week and really dive in like 100% full bore. To this day, I, I still love the practice of workshops. I'm actually going to Scottsdale on my birthday uh, this year uh, for a workshop for myself uh, because I just, there's something about the uh, immersion that is not the same as uh, digital classes, as good as they might be. So um, what I would say is for beginners, consider in-person workshops, whether it's with me or someone else, as an investment in test driving the, the life of a painter, like the, um, the intensity, the thinking part. You know, I actually have a slide in my very first presentation that we walked through that the workshop is about here, it's about here, and it's about here. Um, it's about thinking how to paint, making decisions. It's about how you feel about it. Why do you want to do this? Um, what inspires you? How can you follow those things? And then all the technical things, like the tools to help you execute that vision. Um, it's a really long road to get anywhere. Um, I get it. I was there. I remember vividly being frustrated. And so what I've really tried to do in this workshop is break down a lot of different areas into very simple parts so that you can, you don't like that, ditch that, do this over here. And there's a lot of variety in some of the exercises and takeaways that I'm, I'm hoping people not only enjoy doing, because if you don't enjoy the practice, like it's never gonna work. And so by breaking it down and simplifying and making small things that you, that you can succeed at, um, the flywheel of motivation starts where you set reasonable goals, you kick ass on those goals, you want to keep going, and then you get better and better and better and better with every loop rather than you sitting in a, in a classroom watching me paint for six hours and drone on and on and on. It's super boring. I've been to workshops like that. It's not fun. I really try to change up the format. We rarely ever do anything, including sitting and listening to me talk for more than like an hour and a half. It's a lot of painting and conversation and one-on-one um, -on -one support and tweaking. I do paintovers and critiques and full demos. So it's a lot of variety. It's super intense. I've always gotten good feedback. So if you're thinking about painting and you're trying to, do, to decide between, well, maybe I'll just do Zoom classes. I get that the travel is a pain. Um, some people have traveled a real long way for workshops and it's, it's always incredibly flattering when, when people decide to do that, especially if they spend their vacation time doing it. I, I know that that's an investment. So I really, really take it personally and I, my goal is to make it worth it, right? And so you come home with as much as possible. I think the digital courses that I'm doing are almost more of a reminder supplement for in-person students than a instructional practice, for lack of a better word. So that's just a thought on that. Um, I do want to show you some of the things that we, we do work on. If you've never been to a workshop, um, like what, what do we actually do? So the first day is all about value. So we do things like, you know, starting real basic, you know, value scales um, that are, you know, to, 
to think about the theory of value, but also just manipulate gouache for the first time, see how it dries, see how it mixes, see how it applies. Like learning the subtlety of it by doing, which is always great, kind of culminates in value studies like this, you know, where we're doing scenes from reference and trying to break it down in black and white. So the first day is a slow ramp up into painting in general a little bit of um, theory practice, like why you want to do it, um, what it means to practice, and then getting into value, which is the heart of, of everything. Day two is color, which is always everyone's favorite. Um, mine too. And we do things like color studies, so and mixing charts, or I have a spin on mixing charts, where it's not just mixing colors together, but it's also mixing colors with white, colors with water, um, colors with complements, so that you get both a feeling of consistency and how colors mix together. So it's both control of value and tone and all of that, but also application because a lot of people don't paint thick enough. We do like sort of simplified color exercises where we're trying to break down scenes into like almost coloring books. And it's more about learning how to visualize and spot colors, how to describe them up here before you can describe them, you know, with your hands on your palette. And then we'll get into like very specific studies. These are these are tiny one, one and a half by two inch studies. Um, here's some ones that I just did for uh, the digital course, right? What we're trying to do is like get close to the feel of a scene using a very limited palette and application, kind of work our way up to, you know, larger scenes um, like these. Third day is light and light is all about understanding like the, the world, like why things appear the way they do, um, how light, uh, behaves off of objects, bounce light, shadows, all that kind of stuff. We do, you may have seen these posted on Instagram. I set these up. These are uh, like uh, geometric still life objects. So we uh, set them up in the studio with colored lights and everyone kind of rotates around and we, we paint from observation. So we move from, you know, painting color reference like these to like now our brains have to translate three-dimensional objects um, into a two-dimensional image in our brains, and then we have to mix colors that we see and evaluate that. It's kind of a stepping stone for plain air, but the, the chamfered edges um, give you very simplified color tones and shifts that are a little bit easier to manage. So that's always a fun day. That's the third day. And then the fourth day is all about plain air. So uh, this will be in April, which the weather will be great. I'm hoping we can go outside maybe to even like a, a, a more deserty location, we'll see. But I'll do things like, uh, you know, full demos, kind of walking through like value study, color study, final study, um, up into these types of um, pieces, right? So it's like actual plein air pieces um, that I'll demo and show. So yeah, we kind of work up from literally zero up to like painting outside to give people a a real uh, taste of all that painting has to offer, and then um, you know what aspects that they really want to dive into and take home with them. So yeah, it's always a really good time. If you have any questions, you're on the fence, um, you're not sure if it's right for you, just email me. I'm I'm happy to uh, talk about any of these you know questions. You want to make sure that something's covered. You know, I'm in a class right now where I emailed the instructor like a huge list of questions like, here's where I'm at, here's where I want to learn, I'm really trying to push this, is this covered in class? Um, as a way to uh, uh, make sure I'm getting my money's worth because that one was pretty expensive. So I suggest you do the same, right? It's an investment, um, but you need to, you know, do your research um, and make sure that it's going to get you um, kind of what you're after. And we do start every workshop with that goal in mind. Like, what do you want to learn? It helps me improv on the fly if you want to focus on something, but also, Make sure by the end of the, the workshop that we check the boxes that you want. So I hope that gives you a little bit of a, um, a sneak preview of like how workshop works if you've never been to one before and what are some of the exercises we'll be doing. Yeah, Scottsdale Beginner Gouache starts in about a month. Still some seats open if you want to register. There's the link in my bio on Instagram or on my website um, under the workshop section if you want information and, um, to register. Last thing, if you uh, decide to come, uh, I am offering as well, I'm doing this with one student already, but I can, uh, I've got some slots open. If you wanna do a one-on-one -on -one critique before, like the week before the workshop, if you've, if you've been painting for a while and you have very specific things you wanna work on, we can book an hour, um, you can send me some work, 
I'll do some paint overs and think about how to improve things. And then you come to the workshop with a really clear vision of some suggestions of what I would uh, work on. So maybe it's more value, maybe it's more mixing. And then um, hopefully I can reinforce those points in the workshop. So even if we're doing the exercises that everyone else is doing, you know, maybe for you specifically, you really struggle with you know, desaturating colors. Um, so like a little more emphasis here, tweak some exercises. It gives me a head start on how to help you specifically. So anyway, uh, sales pitch over. If you have any other additional questions about Scottsdale Artist School, how workshops work, costs, crits, anything, supplies, anything like that, please, please, please just email me or uh, message me on Instagram. I'd be happy to answer all the questions. I'm in your position uh, equally in terms of uh, being a discerning workshop goer. I know you have to prioritize and you only get one a year, maybe one every two years. Um, so it's a difficult decision. So I hope that you consider coming to learn with me. It's always a lot of fun and hopefully I'll see you there.